Hello and welcome back to the Fat Pack. I'm a do a thing. I'm playing Duels of Planeswalkers for Negative Game Score Channel Times. So I've updated the deck. I've took out a land from it. Put in another giant scorpion. I took out an assassinate. Put in a murder. I took out something else. There was something on the high end that I put in Rinsguard Demon. I mean, getting to seven isn't that unreasonable. I was doing it a lot. Getting a 6-6 six, six flyer and another card is pretty good and no come back. It is pretty good. So let's go on to the next fight. Chandra Nalar, let's do this. Let's do this, girl. So Chandra Nalar is a red planeswalker, pretty obvious by the fire hair. And thus, I, oh no, I'm, no, no. Yeah, I can work with this though. Uh, she plays a red deck. So these, these guys, I don't know how safe my small drops are, but that's fine. If she's wasting her burn on me, uh, not me, that means she's not using it on my life total. So I am coolio with that, you know? So starting out here, I go for the swamp because I care about, you know, if I top deck, say, uh, sign in blood. I didn't. In fact, I got another swamp. But I have so many double black cards that I care about getting that second swamp on turn two. Just in case. And it's going to keep prompting me with shock, I don't care. So I looked, <laughs> and apparently something I didn't notice is I have easy target on. And so I can't target my own creatures with easy target. Usually it's, you know, to your benefit. I, I just want to not have to deal with all of her slivers. She probably doesn't have too many, but I don't want to deal with all of them having haste makes waste, you know. Uh, I have easy target on, which means I can't target my own things. I didn't bother turning it off, I just am going to keep that in mind. Let's see, what are you doing? What do you got? Oh, you got one of those too? Oh, how unfortunate for you, girl. How unfortunate for you. I'm gonna take it. And I'm going to attack with it. And I'm probably just going to play the elixir because I'm not going to do anything else. Get in some free damage, plus I know I'm going to trade. That was a really good top deck, by the way. Because I want to save Gravedigger. And you'll see why in a second here. So I'll just play the elixir because I have the mana and nothing to do with it. It's only benefiting me. Oh. Probably going to... Yep. Yeah, joik. Good joik. Oh well. And I still hit her for five with her own creature. I can I can live with that. She's down to three cards in hand, that means she doesn't have that much likely left. That much gas likely left. So let's just do this. Do what I was going to do, but it was gonna be a much fancier play if she didn't have that volcanic geyser. But like I said, you know, I have elixir. That's kind of like having 25 life to play with last turn, so I'm sort of down to 20-ish. Raging Fire Cat. Okay. Had she waited until main phase 2? This hates. So, okay. That's, um, that's unfortunate. And yeah, I figured. I don't know if I want to take it all, but I think I'm going to. Just because I think there's real possibility that I can just blow her out with a good top deck. And if not, oh boy. Risky strats, huh? I feel like I need to, though. Cards for life, man. Cards for life. Yeah, I should be able to survive. Assuming she doesn't have a two damage burn spell. I mean, she is the... She's a red deck, so I shouldn't I shouldn't be sitting too comfortably here. But mm, Yep, that's game. Let's try this again, shall we? This time with feeling. Um yeah, I can work with this. Sign in blood turn two into turn four blood hunter bat. Yeah, sure. Sure. So like I said, having sign in blood early is really nice card advantage. I'll trade cards for life get net gain of one card plus one less card in your deck because Sign of Blood replaces itself. It's 
really strong. Plus, she doesn't have any sort of crazy turn one plays or anything. That's a pretty good draw. There's that Flame to the Firebrand I picked up. Mm, forgot to mention I picked up. Really strong removal. Really strong. Not as strong, I don't know if it's as strong against her. It's still really good removal. Okay, just curving out, guys. We are curving out. I'm curving out. See, it's good to curve by. In sealed, you don't usually curve up this well, because I'm going into turn four, into turn five, plus some removal sitting back. Sitting pretty. Let's go into combat, see what she does. Let's not give her too many options. If she doesn't, if she wants it dead, you can burn it, Chandra. I'm putting the bait. Oh, nope, you don't want to, huh? I guess I'll just run this out there then. Modding Moraler. A 5-3 must attack. You saw her put them to good use. The thing is, though, the difference, if she runs out something like that, I have removal sitting back. Meaning that 4-2 is not going to trade with my 5-3. It's not. Creatures, creatures, players. So I ping that thing for 2. And Chandra takes 1 in, in the process. Really strong. Really, really strong removal. Like I said. <coughs> so I'm at an early lead here. Not, uh, not in small, not in any small part, thanks to the sign and blood, which I keep hyping up. Ooh, mountains of seven seven. So one of her mountains that were already out is now a seven seven. And that is annoying, but I have giant scorpion. So she's going to hold it back, and that's fine by me. I'll run the blood hunter bat out, and I'm going to lose my marauding Maulhorn here, which is unfortunate. This is the drop. This is something you can run into, an issue you run into. But, oh well. I got a lot of damage out of that Marauding Maulhorn. I think five, at least five damage out of it. I'll pay four mana to get five damage. Easy. That's an easy thing to do. You cannot attack, Chandra. You can do that, though, Chandra. So one of the abilities of a lot of Phoenix Eyes... Phoenix... One Phoenix, two Phoenix Eye? I don't know. One of the abilities a lot of phoenixes have, phoenox, is the ability to cast, to get, to get them back. Sometimes cast them straight from the graveyard, or return them more often, return them to your hand so you can recast them later. And that phoenix is no exception. It's just really expensive for a four-two, IMO. But that's just me, I guess. Let's just throw some more fat on the ground. Eventually, I will be able to just not even care about a 7-7. But for now, I have to respect the 7-7 on the ground. It's going to cast her Phoenix to stop me from doing stuff in the air. Yep. Yeah, this is a rather boring Phoenix, but, I mean, it is what it is. So, let's see, what's the best thing I can do? I could... Hmm... A good line of play would be to... This will probably end up with me taking 7. But it'll set me up for really strong crackbacks. I expected that. I kind of just want her to waste her man. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's not fine. It gives him first strike. That I did not expect. But... Oh, well... Wait, does that count? Hold the... Oh, she just... It'll land as creature. That works out in my favor. See, the land... The land is the creature. So, and I can only assassinate tapped creatures. She, she used the mana to cast the spell there. So that's a... That was... That worked out well. I am happy with how that went. Yeah, I didn't expect it to go that way, but... Hey, I have one of those. How you doing, you 4-4 four, four cutie? Speaking of cuties. Let's drain Chandra here. I may as well play a land. Who knows, we might get flooded. I don't think I have a fire breather, but I could play Runescar Demons, tutor something nice up. 
Yeah, okay, I'll take that trade. I know you sh she has cards on me here. What? Oh, you're just doing that now? Sure, whatever. But that gets rid of that. If she doesn't have too many other things that can deal with my giant, she'll have to leave the phoenix here back. Okay, she probably has something in her hand then. She has a card advantage, but I have a serious life advantage on her. That's unfortunate. Suddenly she has a board advantage on me too. But I have enough explosive draws. Like, that is not bad. That is not a bad draw. So now she's going to have to make a choice. Or have something to answer this. Being in top deck mode is really sometimes annoying. Like... Let's see how this goes. Okay, so she's going to use that to trade, probably. Well, she can't trade with the sliver. So she has to trade with the 4-2. I get a mountain, that's unfortunate, because that gives her a 2-2 two -two still. She has to block it. And I mean, she can chump it with the sliver if she wants, but she can kill it with that thing, which is what she does. Play the land, pass the turn. Oh yeah. That is one of the good things about Phoenixes. If you get flooded like Chandra is, you can just kind of leave up four mana and have an almost perfect blocker. Yes, you got me. Ouch. In my face hole, it hurts. Yeah. It's four to return, four to cast. So if she has eight mana, boom. She can have, she can just keep recurring her Phoenix. That's not exactly a great top deck. I am three hits from dead. I need to find something. Rune Scar Demon would be pretty freaking sweet right now. That is not freaking sweet though. But I don't know why she did that now. Unless she has the world. She's gonna hit me for eight right now. Meaning I have to come up with something next turn. I mean, she could just have a shock and blow me out, but I don't know why she used that first shock before doing this, because I would have probably just taken it. I'd have probably taken it. Okay, that's at least comforting. I'm going to wait, though, because she could have a haste giver. She is a red deck, and murder is at instant speed, meaning when she goes in for an attack, I can save this back. See, she cast that. I was hoping she'd make a mistake. This is one reason you don't cast before. Because I think a 4-2 flyer is better for her than a 5-3 ground that must attack. However, if I top a land, I'm dead here. It's just all there is to it. So, yep. That went south. I just ran out of gas, I guess. I don't know how much of that you saw, but... If I cut any of that out, welcome back, I don't like this hand. I'm not a fan of this hand, but I am i don't think I... Okay, so one thing when you're mulliganing. In this game, you get it's Paris, you know, French-friendly mulliganing. Uh, you gotta weigh your options, and I feel going... To, this isn't an amazing, like, two lands when I have so much double black stuff. It's not exciting. But... At the same time, I don't think I'd have a better hand going down to six, likely. It's less likely that I will. I'm better off hoping this doesn't go downhill. Honestly. And if I get if I top a swamp here, that opens me up to Vampire Nighthawk, which it's a really strong dude. And then later, like or if I even just top a mountain at least, that's not bad. Yeah, you can have that, Chandra, that's fine. Fine, I'm swinging. I'm just gonna activate this now. Like, honestly, there, I'm not really looking to gain any benefit from it. I'm looking for it to stall me some time. Again, elixir is not something I'm excited to run. This is going south, guys. It almost makes me just want to restart and call it because she's so red decks can be so explosive that she's already really far ahead just by getting the land advantage on me. That's, like, usually red decks don't have, don't need to rely on so much mana. You can have that. Uh, personally, the staffs are just a waste of time. I think there's, like, one deck that ever runs them I, in standard. Okay. Okay, that is helpful. 
That'll gain me some life back. Your blur sliver no longer can attack. Let's see. And I can sign in blood. I just want to stop her assault first. Here. Oh! That means she has a burn spell, but... At the same time, I'm going to make her waste it. She's going to use it. Or she has everything in the world. Whatever, you got it. That's fine, Chandra. You can have everything. That's fine, Chandra. So because I'll trade my 2 2 for your 2 2 and get my 2 3 back to my hand. See, Chandra's. One thing for Chandra is she's down to three cards. Four now, but you assume one of them's probably a land. And then she's. Yep. I'm surprised she doesn't have a burn spell so she can get in some damage. Now I'm getting lands. Yay, lands. Honestly, I think my best line of play is try and get a hand advantage on her. That was a good call. She has a life advantage on me. I'm just going to wait. I'm not going to win the race of cracking at her with a 2-2 and she cracks back. Plus, she has so much open mana, she could have had something that would have ruined my day. So, she, I'm surprised though, she would have probably played it had she had it, but it's still one of those things like, you know, you don't want to just run into her trap card. Now I'm going to see if I can get her to use something up, use up resources, because I have a resource advantage, like I said. Oh, she's not? Okay. In that case, let's drop my big guy. She's got to have a fireball effect to kill this efficiently. Which she has it. She has the world. Of course, that's fine, Chandra. Now she's flooding out. Like I said, Chandra doesn't really need that many lands. She doesn't need as many as I'm, I like having. So for her to flood out, I'm happy to see that. Whereas me, I'm happy to get that. Because now I'm at seven lands, meaning I can do things like cast Bloodhunter Bat and leave up, and either leave up Murder, or do what I'm going to do and go in for the Vampire Nighthawk. Again, I should be doing this main phase too because it gives her all the options. But honestly, she hasn't been showing that she has any tricks. So I'm not expecting any out of her. Okay, and I expect right. Now, Chandra, you cannot do anything unless you have... Okay, so she, what she's going to do is she's going to stop Vampire Nighthawk from blocking. Then she's going to swing with her 2-2, ask me to trade my Blood Hunter, which I'm going to say no, I'll take the 2 damage. Yep. As you can see, I've played this game before. <laughs> Giant Scorpion. Let's just get in there, crack it with everything. This thing does not have first strike, it does not. And I'm just going to attack with all, because I'm going to have a better thing than Grave uh, than this guy to hold the ground. That's fine. I'll trade that. And then you hold the ground, big guy. You've got this. It's you and me against the world, son. So she can't really do anything with her 2-2 unless she has some sort of pump spell. And she... Let's see if she gets everything, because she can keep gaining some life back by winning coin flips. Nope. Tails. Bye-bye, Molten Rebirth. So here I go, again on my own. Let's see if I can get her to take the bait. So I am, I'm sitting with Public Execution in my hand. It's not the most exciting thing, but it will board wipe her if she tries to go in for the bait, getting my 4-4. Four, four. And if she doesn't, that's fine too. That's completely cool with me too. She... whatever. That's all I need to do. I'll take... I'll give her 4 damage too, because she has the piddly life gain thing over there. 
which can be sometimes situational, situationally annoying. For each mountain. That would, be a, that would be a problem if it weren't for the fact that it's not a problem. Look at that butt. That baby got backside. Dead. Dead eggs. It's mine now. Going in for combat. Do do do. Let's just attack with all of it. I'm one crazy Rakdosi Mada Trucka. Okay, so you're blocking that one. Whatever. I'm more interested in you having to lose some serious value here. And also, I'm keeping the mur- I'm seeing if I can- if I'm going to bait her 412 into attacking. Nope, she's just not wanting my 4-4. Four four. Well, let's wait till her end phase. Make sure she- oh. That's really useful right now, Chandra. Yup, can't block. You did good. You're doing it. Target land, creatures of the one, can't block this thing, that's fine. Destroying a tapped land of all things. Okay. Oh, in case I steal that. Ah, oh, it's too slow. You're too slow. Whatever. Really wasn't doing much else this turn anyway. I'd have ended. The, I'd have ended up having three extra land. So, oh well. Let's see if I can bait both of these guys gone so that my five three when it can attack next turn doesn't get killed is likely. Yep, that's cool. Because I want my five three to be able to come through. Oh, wait, no, she does she die here? Oh, I just got an achievement though. I don't know what that is. I'll have to look that up. Death dealer. It's probably the amount of creatures that have died this game. Wreck the fire cat. Six. One, two, three, four. In order to kill her, I just have to do this. Bit of a waste. But this assumes that she has nothing in her hand left. Oops. I don't want to do it that. Oh, whatever. She gets a turn left. I accidentally hit the Y button, guys. I am a failure. I'm a failure, guys. A failure. She has to have a flyer. Not a flyer servant. Red instrument. Okay, you got it. You got it. It's yours. You have it. That is yours, and you can have it. Whatever. It's not like it's gonna do any good. This time, let's not get all tasty, hasty, and let's just get in there for some damage. This plays around her gaining any sort of exorbitant amount of life. Or something. Yay! Battlemaster achievement! I don't know what these achievements are. Hmm, where are we at? 23 minutes? I'm probably gonna edit this down. Let's try and get one more booster pack. Rook should be pretty easy. He's a green deck. I'm very biased. I'm not a green mage, guys. I am a blue mage. Blue red. Not keeping this. That's very good. I'm a blue mage, guys, so I don't really care much for your green stompy shenanigans. So, let's see where this goes. No sign in blood turn two, then I'm gonna leave the mountain up in case I wanna shack something. The shacks! Putting down the shacks. Look at that art, too, man. That guy's having a sh heart attack. Shock to the heart. And you're to blame, darling, you give Shaq a bad name. That is dying. That is like the green Doomblade. That can die a horrible, shocky death. Especially since I have a Nighthawk. <laughs> Runescar Demon, where were you my last, like, million games against the Chandra? You darn dirty ape? Demon? You dirty demon? Dirty demons done dirt cheap. I'm rambling, guys. Oh, no turn three plan. Okay. Cool. Green decks aren't known for their combat. Well, they're known for some combat tricks, but they need creatures out first. They're not known for doing things with untapped mana on opponent's turns unless it has to do with their creatures. And since Girk doesn't have any, then I knew that attack was basically safe. Like... Let's see what he does here. I'd be surprised if he doesn't have... Yeah. One of those, in fact, is what I, exactly what I was thinking. 
interestingly enough. That's fine. That's perfectly okie dokie. I'm going to trade it here with. I'm going to trade it away and get another one, and then he's going to play a 4-4. Four, four. See, these 5-3s are not as good against Garuk. They, that was an equal trade. I spent 4 mana on mine, he spent 4 mana on his. That's basically an equal trade, but still, dealing with the 5-3s that must attack are kind of bad against him. Oh, that's nice. Thanks, Garuk. You're, you're a real team player, Garuk. Real nice guy. You, you, uh, you're a dapper. You have a very well-groomed beard for a, a wild guy. Look that with his well-groomed beard, guys. He does have five land or five, six now, and and he's probably got a land here because he cares about having more lands than anyone else does. So you're still not doing anything. Okay. Well, Gary, this is not going so well for you, is it? You kind of got to do something soon, Gary. Oh, he has a creature flasher. So he's going to trade away. That's good, cool, whatever. That's fine. Whatever. I still... Thing is, I have two flyers. That's just the, that's just the way it is. Green decks tend to... Not, that's why I killed that uh, spider really quick. Because green decks need answers to flying. It's... Nothing? Well, okay, Gary. If that's, you know, how you're really gonna be, I'm gonna do a thing. That's probably gonna kill you next turn. And then I'm gonna go get the, the surefire kill. Okay, thanks. Some sort, probably shack or something. That or doom, or murder if I don't see anything better. Um... Yeah, let's go Flames of the Firebrand. That deals three damage. Just in case he gains some life here. Which, honestly, I'm, it probably doesn't matter. But, like, yeah, let's just get in there and see what he does. No use wasting resources when you don't have to, right, guys? He's, how does he flood to eight lands? What happened, Garuk? What happened? Did you build a worse deck than I did? Whatever, that padded the video out real nice. Let's go open up a booster pack. Let's go look at... Let's all go to the lobby. No, I want to look at the edit sealed deck. Yeah, what do we get? What do we get for a deck? Ooh, okay. Shock, and we got a, a fireball, and we got... A, that's, that's nice, having better mana. Yeah, we got Shock and a Terramorphic Expanse, I guess, and the Volcanic Geyser. That's not bad, I guess. Volcanic Geyser, nice when you flood, yada yada yada, instant speed. There was a time when this was first released, I forget when it was. I heard a story, though, when it was first released, people were like, Oh my god, instant speed Fireball. Er, what's happening to Mirror Jerk? And then it turned out that it's not as good as Fireball. Yeah. Anyway. It has been a negative game score. We're gonna play do playing walk some more someday. Maybe tomorrow. Probably not though, cause tomorrow's Saturday. Gonna sing a song on gonna play more play to go bye.